Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to see how we can generate the alerts for TradingView strategies. You just need to go to the app.pickmytrade.io. So here we are at the home page, just click on generate alert. Under broker, you have to select IB, and under alert type, you have to select strategy. Now, if you are confused whether it is a strategy or not, just go to TradingView. So here I have added the Bollinger Band, which is an indicator. When you click on this source code, it will redirect you to Pine Editor, and when you click on Strategy Tester, the details are blank, which means this is an indicator. Similarly, now I have added the Super Trend Strategy, so here all the reports under the Strategy Tester are visible, which indicates that this is a strategy. Now we have here Instrument Type, where we will choose Futures, or you can select as per your choice. In the Trading View symbol you have to enter the symbols, let's say I want to trade for NQ. Now it will ask, if your strategy have multiple exits like TP1 or TP2. If you select yes, then you can simple move on, but I will select no to explain why this option exists here. In strategy, you can define your TP and SL under your Pine script itself. If your strategy has defined TP and SL itself then you can select yes and move on, but if want to define it manually, then you have to select NO. Then you will find the risk management settings here. Here you can manually set your stop loss and take profit type as you want. Here are five options, point in dollar, percentage, price, ticks, and total profit or loss. So here, we have set an entry stop loss in USD for one point. So it is calculating as, entry stop loss point is one. The lot size of NQ is 20, and the quantity we have taken is two. Therefore, one into 20 into two is equal to 40. So this is all about the point in dollar. Now, let's learn about percentage. So, let's say your entry fill price is $100, and you set stop loss in percentage as 1%. So it will calculate the 1% of $100. Oh, if we set stop loss as 1 and take profit as 2. So stop loss will get placed on 99, and take profit will be placed at 102. Then, next comes the price. Oh, in price, we allow you to pass your trading view variable. Some people ask us if then can pass any variable. So you cannot pass any other variable if we go through their documentation. Here are some variables mentioned which are only allowed to be passed here. You only can pass from plot underscore zero to plot underscore 19, and you have to make changes in your Pine script to add the plot. So whatever variable you pass first, it will be accessible as plot underscore zero. And the next one will be at plot underscore one. Next comes ticks. So let's say I place 10 ticks stop loss and 20 ticks take profit. So if we look for NQ, the tick size is 0.25. So the calculation goes like, 10 ticks stop loss we passed, 2 is the quantity, 0.25 is the tick size for 1 tick, and 20 is the lot size. So stop loss for 2 contract is going to be $100, and same for the take profit. So the take profit will be at $200. The last one is total profit or loss. So if I place $10 for 2 contracts, the stop loss is going to be $20. Let's move to the account selection. Here you can add multiple accounts. So just click on add account. Here you have to put your pick my trade connection name. Here I will put IB one. Then here you have to put your IB account name. Then here you have to put the quantity multiplier. If I pass here too, then whatever quantity comes from the strategy will be doubled. Then when you click on add account, the account will get added here. And you can add multiple accounts with the same process. Then you can click on generate alert. So here you will get this pop up. From where you can copy JSON and webhook URL. And if you mistakenly miss this portion, so from here also you can copy it. So I will click here, so my JSON will get copied. Then you will go to your trading view. Then you will go to this option. Then you have to click on the plus icon. Here in settings, here you have to select your strategy you are using. And here in this message box, you have to paste your copied JSON. Now you will go back to pick my trade and click here on copy webhook URL. And in the notification section, you have to paste this URL here. And when you click on create, your alert will be generated. Now, as my chart is for one minute time frame, my alert is generated for one minute. So, by mistake you generated it for one minute and want to change it for five minutes. So in this case, you can just select this edit option and in the interval, you have the option to change it. Now I can change it to five minutes and just save it. So whenever your alert gets generated, you will be notified here in the log section. And if you want to add multiple accounts, you just need to keep those options the same and just click on add account and just fill in all those details here and click on add account and when you generate an alert your alert will get generated for all those added accounts 